right. You guys wanted it, so there you fucking go. This is my angry fucking video. I'm gonna offend and piss off a lot of people. I really don't give a flying fuck right now. I was at the gym for a couple hours today and I was having a good day, feeling great. Left a video to upload in the meantime while I was gone, came home. For the most part, got some good comments and then I got the usual ignorant fucking comments. And instead of bitching out every single one of you that is being a dumbass, I'm just gonna make this video. This one, not this one, the one I uploaded earlier, the one I uploaded yesterday, are not supposed to be bashing videos. Get it through your fucking head. Do you guys not know what bashing actually is? Quit, for the love of fuck, telling me to stop bashing or down talking Emily Boo. I am not fucking talking down on her. How much clearer can I fucking get? If I was talking shit about her, I would go off and you would fucking know it. You must not have been following me for long because if you had, then you would know what it sounds like when I insult somebody. And me saying, she is just living her own life. I'm living my life. CJ is living his life. She is not my enemy. That in no way is down talking her or bashing her. Those are fucking facts. Me saying, I don't like that she listened to other people and couldn't think for herself and use them to quit talking to me. That is also a fact. If she had wanted to quit talking to me, she could have just quit talking to me at any time. It's that she went and listened to people like you who are making problems where there are none that caused the problem in the first place. And yeah, I don't like that and I'm not gonna lie about it and say that I do, but I also quickly follow that with the fact that I say she is not my enemy, I am not shit talking her, I've got no problem with her, I only had a problem with the way she did that, which is nothing really. People have a problem with the way I talk, with the way I look. People have a problem with the things I say, whatever, you know? I only, only have a problem with the way that she cut it, not that she cut it. And that's only because I know how evil people can be. I know how petty they can be. I know how dramatic fucking drama whore, nosy, brown nosing pieces of shit they can be. And you don't listen to people like that. You don't just go and take something that's completely not true, make it true, or try to make it true, and use that as a cop-out excuse to fucking quit talking to somebody. You know, I'm sorry, it is what it is. Um, other people were talking shit about her in my videos, and I didn't allow those comments. I was like, I don't want to get involved in that. So, quit. Quit telling me to stop bashing her. Because if you fucking say that, it's fair game for me to start bashing you because I've got no tolerance for fucking idiots on my page. I don't give a shit who you are. I don't care how long you've been following me. I'm not having it. I am not bashing her. And I don't know how to knock the fucking sense into you and tell you that I'm sick of you fucking white nighters coming to me acting like I'm doing something wrong when I am not. I've said it clearly, word for word. How fucking stupid do you have to be to listen to the actual words coming out of somebody's mouth and still think differently? This, this here, this is what caused the problem with her in the first place. I said my video talking about YouTubers that had sold out and changed was not directed at anybody. One of you, two of you, three of you, whoever got a hair up your ass and decided, oh, that sounds to me like Emily Boo, which you know what? Says a hell of a lot more about you than it does about me because if you see her in a video talking about selling out and being fake where I didn't see her, you're the one who thinks that she's sold out. You're the one who thinks that she's fucking a lame ass fucking fake nonsense bullshit YouTuber. Not me. I said it was not her. You said it's her. So that means you think it's her, not me. So get the fuck off of my back, all right? Seriously. And for me to say again, and 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 again. I have no problem with her. And then you're like, stop bashing her. I really don't like to see two YouTubers fighting. What the fuck? Like, I just want to break your fucking neck. I never said anything about her. We are not fighting. If we were fighting, you would know it because I'd be like, she's a fucking whore. She's a cunt. She's fucking ugly. I hope her kids die. I don't know what the fuck. I would say something really brutal and really nasty and my subscriber count would go to zero like that. But you know what? I haven't said any of that. I've said I've got absolutely no issues with her. Look up. No problem. No issues in the goddamn dictionary if you're too fucking stupid to know English. Because if I say I've got no problem with someone, it means they are not my enemy. Look up what an enemy is 
and look up not my enemy. If you're too dumb to fucking know how to look shit up or understand, you shouldn't even be watching this shit. Because you obviously... How the fuck can you even get out of bed in the morning if you're that fucking retarded? Seriously. And I don't care if I just use the word retarded. I can't stand people like this. It is all of you who have done this shit that have caused drama where there was no fucking drama. It's like, how dare you go when somebody says they've got no issue with someone and say, oh, but you've got an issue with them. You're fighting. I don't give a shit if you subscribe to her. I don't give a shit if you love her to death. I don't give a shit if she's your biffle. I don't care. I'm not telling you not to subscribe to her, not to watch her. I don't care if you're like, well, I watch her and I watch you. Good for you. Yay. You know, you're open-minded. I've got no problem with you. And since I have no problem with her, why the fuck would I give a shit if you're watching us both? More power to you. What the fuck? I don't care. I'm not a subscriber hog, you know? Obviously, I don't give a shit if people unsubscribe to me or not, because if you disagree with me that much, you don't need to be here. I don't care about numbers like that. I care about being true to myself, saying what needs to be said and not being censored by my own mind or you or anybody else out there. So I fucking refuse to be censored or I, I, I also can't stand having words put in my mouth. I've got a big enough mouth myself. I can say what needs to be said without your help. Thank you very fucking much. I do not hate her. I do not have an issue with her. I do not consider her my enemy. I am not waging a war against her, nor am I shit talking her, nor am I telling you not to watch her, nor am I saying you should not watch her. You shouldn't have anything to do with her. I still think she makes fantastic videos. I still subscribe to her myself. You can check my fucking, I'm, I follow her on fucking Instagram and I follow her page on Facebook and I'm still subscribed to her. So what the fuck does that tell you? I mean, seriously, I've got no problem with her at all. I think that her daughter is goddamn adorable. She seems really fucking happy in her life. I love her little family to death. I love her videos. I love her giveaways. I just don't think it's proper for myself to comment anymore now that she doesn't really want to talk to me, which is fine. It is her choice. So listen to me clearly. Seriously. The only thing I did not like is that she listened to rumors online. She believed when other people said I was talking about her and I was not, I felt that was unfair. Those are all facts. None of that is bashing. None of that is shit talking. I'm tired of beating a dead horse. I am tired of going over and over and over this. And if you're like, well then stop making videos about it. Well, stop fucking commenting. <laughs> you know, you comment, I get pissed off, I make a video. This is the way it works. And I've tried commenting back to quite a few of you and then it just got to be too much and I'm stopping myself from totally blasting you. So I'm like, you know what? I just need to make a video about this. Somebody else commented saying, God, stop talking about CJ. Just leave it be. Move on with your life. You've got a husband. You've got a son. Just move on. And it's like, oh my fucking God. And I did cuss her out. And I was like, you are so fucking stupid. Do you not get the point of the video. I can talk about him all I want. I, in fact, made the video because I had been talking to him. He wrote me asking me to please have people stop saying the shit about him. And so I said, okay. And I wanted to let you guys know because believe it or not, there are people out there that like to know what is going on in my life. I don't know why. I don't ask questions. I just know that they do. They follow mine and Emily's and CJ's story. And so they would appreciate the updates. The updates are for them, not for you. You see CJ in the title, you don't like it, fuck off then. I don't give a shit. I really don't give a shit. I honestly don't. You could go right now and you know, unsubscribe right now. I don't give a flying fuck. I've got a husband, I've got a son and me setting the record straight and sticking up for somebody who I feel at this point, years later, has been wrongly bashed beyond all reasonable bashing that does not take away my ability to be a husband, uh, a wife and a fucking mother. It doesn't take anything away from my family. In fact, it helps because me releasing my anger and getting rid of it makes me into a more positive person and a happier person, which is much more pleasurable for me to be around. And if you can't understand that, well then, you know, there's the door. Fucking leave right there. Otherwise, you know, I still have some really cool people who have, you know, got a brain. Um, it's the other ones that I could care less for and I'm getting really sick of going around in this circle and this circle and this circle And I see this building up into something quite bad, which is fucking pissing me off So I'm trying to put a stop to it here. You people need to get the fuck off my back Seriously, if you want to see some bashing keep fucking pushing me 
um, stop making problems where there are no problems. I just, I've never imagined a world where people could hear word for word for word and still make a problem out of something that is not there. It's like looking at something yellow and saying, but that's blue. No, that's yellow. No, but that's blue. Uh, no, it's fucking yellow. I see blue. You know, that's, that's kind of what they're doing. You can't get much clearer than what I've said. It's like, if you haven't followed me long enough to know how honest I am about shit, then keep your mouth shut until you get to know me better. Because all you're doing is making yourself look like a fool and you're gonna just risk me blocking you. And I know you could still watch my videos, but I won't have to hear your stupid fucking comments. And um, I know other YouTubers are like, I love all my subscribers. I love everybody who watches. I don't. And I don't know if that's bad. I don't care. Um, I love those that love me. I love those that know respect, that understand English to the point where they're not causing drama for me. I love those that um, might see something or hear something they don't like, but they don't feel the need to bash me for my life, especially if I'm trying to make it a point not to hurt or offend other people. I go out of my way now to make sure I'm not hurting or offending. And if you're coming to me like, that offends me, stop it. That offends me, take it down. Oh, fuck you, fuck off, you know? Um, you can only bend over so much for people and then it becomes ridiculous. And what I'm doing now is I think it's a good level, a good mixture. I don't say anything like I have a breastfeeding video. I'm against breastfeeding personally, because the people that I know that do it just pop their tits out in public and they're like, look at my titties, my titties are so big. And it's like, if it's truly about the baby, you shouldn't need to post it everywhere and show everybody your fucking tits. It should be about the baby. I'm also against breastfeeding mothers being forced to hide in a bathroom and be made to feel like what they're doing is shameful and unnatural. So I'm, I guess I'm kind of in the middle. I don't approve of the girls that go out there like they've got something to prove. Um, but at the same time, I don't think that they should be made to feel like it's a dirty secret. And I was very clear and very respectful of both sides in my argument about it. And I still had people coming, if you don't like titties, don't look, you fucking bitch and blah, blah. And I'm like, excuse you. And you know, I fucking went off on those people because I say no offense meant I take a lot of care. Oh, I just lost my groove because some guy came trying to sell me internet and uh, I've been here screaming at the camera the whole time and I see a shadow out there and I'm like, oh, quiet, 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 because I've been bitching for quite a while and he's been wandering around outside for quite a while. It was very embarrassing. <laughs> oh, sorry. Anyways, um, I don't even remember what I was just saying. Uh, completely blank slate. Fuck. I hate that. Totally took the wind out of my cells. That really sucks. I guess it's a good way to shut me up, right? Um, bottom line is, if, if you respect me enough or you are smart enough to understand um, the fact that I, I am trying to be as non-offensive as humanly possible while still retaining my own opinions and uh, you understand that not everybody agrees with everything all the time and the trick is how you handle yourself if you come across somebody that you don't agree with you don't bash them and attack them you just move on with your life um, don't bitch at me also about my son I got another comment about that that pissed me the fuck off saying that, oh, who was I to want him to be on welfare? I should force him to work or kick his ass out. And it's like, you've got no place to talk to me about my mothering skills or about my son. I've tried all the hard love. I am not going to get into that again. But um, it's a myth that all of the taxpayers' money goes into welfare when in reality it's probably only like 2%. You can easily look this up yourself. It's not all your money that goes into fucking welfare. And anyway, I'm in New Zealand, you're probably in the States, so it doesn't even affect you. Um, I don't want my son to live on welfare the rest of his life. That's not what I, I have in mind for him. It's not what I want for him. I have tried pushing him to work and it's almost torn our whole family apart. And I'm sorry if I'm not cold and heartless enough to want to see my son in a homeless shelter again. 
um, or to walk out of my life. Uh, he's my only fucking child. And it's very hard to find a balance between trying to encourage him to do the right thing and pushing him too far to where he cuts me out completely. I've been through all that. He's moved out a couple of times. He's been in a homeless shelter and nothing affects him. Nothing changes. So all I do is I try to encourage and support him and be there for him and try not to overly push, but also not just let him be a bum the rest of his life. It's very, very, very difficult. So, uh, I don't want to hear anything about it. Uh, that's a surefire way for me to tell you off and block you as well as I did block this person. Um, but yeah, like this is my channel. This is my soapbox. This is my sounding board. If you don't like it, don't watch. If you don't agree, I don't care. I mean, if you're respectful, like, oh, like with the breastfeeding thing, you know, oh, I don't agree with what you're saying, but I respectfully understand that we've got different opinions that I'm like, I can totally, I can totally get on board with that. That is cool. You know, I don't mind. Uh, if you tell me that you don't agree, but you're not going to judge me on it. Or you're not going to hate me for it. You're going to understand that not everybody shares the same views, then I completely respect you for that. And I've never had a problem with anybody that's told me that they think I'm, I'm wrong, but they do it in a respectful way. It's all about respect. And you coming here, especially as a new viewer and try to push me around in my own channel is not going to fly with me whatsoever. Don't think I'm like the other YouTubers who are like, I need more subscribers. I need more people. And so everybody that's there now, I'm not going to risk riling them up. I'm not going to say the wrong thing and push them away because I need those numbers. I am not like that at all because of the fact that I do not see myself as ever being a big subscriber. I've got no aspirations as far as that goes. I see myself as always staying a small subscriber. I will be lucky if I ever even get to 5,000 subscribers which I've got a video scheduled to come out when I might reach 5,000, if that, for maybe a giveaway, some ideas from you guys. And that's scheduled for September of 2017 because I think it'll take at least that long, if not longer, to get to 5,000. So that shows you where I'm thinking about my channel because I didn't make the channel for money. I didn't make the channel for subscribers. I made it for myself to do this, to talk. And if people watch, they watch. And because I don't care about numbers like that, I also don't care if I lose people who don't share my views or who are assholes about it or doing this shit. This shit needs to stop. Um, so I will tell you again before I, I shut this video down. Stop telling me to leave Emily alone. I have left her alone. I'm not abusing her. I'm not doing anything wrong as far as she goes, and I've not said a bad thing about her or her family or anything, nor will I. And you people trying to rile me up like this aren't going to make me suddenly attack her because I'm over the feud with her. I'm over the feud with CJ, and I like it like this. I'm quite fucking happy not having any ongoing feuds right now, and I would be perfectly fine staying like this. He is cool with me. And I've reached a point in my life, it was hard, really hard getting here. And I'm surprised, honestly, myself, because I never, ever thought I would get to this place. But I am actually cool with him. I don't wish him any misery in life like I thought I did. He's fine. He fucked up. He made a mistake. He's more than paid for it. My subscribers and my friends have made sure that he's more than paid for it. And he's got his own demons to deal with. And it's not my place to make him pay any more than he has because it's worked out for us all. Emily, Emily has her own agendas in life, which are all around her family and her daughter, which hell, if I had what she has, I mean, I, I've got an older son, but if I had a little baby, I'd want to protect her too. I wouldn't want to introduce any drama in my life either. She's doing what she needs to do for her family, which is fine. More power to her as well. She knows what she needs out of her life and she's got lots of support, lots of friends, lots of family. Um, she's got a really big family. She's got a great support system and she's got brown nosing fans that are trying to white knight everything anybody says and is they're trying to make problems where there are no problems. And so um, if she or her actual friends watch this, I'm sure she'll be smart enough to know my words are no issue, no problem, nothing. Just, you know, it's fine, whatever. And I'm still a fan and I'm, you know, whatever. I 
this thing would have been over with long ago if I didn't have people still niggling at me talking shit. And that's what really gets to me is when people fucking talk shit and put words in my mouth. And now I'm starting to get into the area of my video where I just repeat everything time and time again as if I never made the first part of my video. So I'm going to stop myself right here. And um, for all the, the good people, I'm sorry you had to see me like this again. Um, I guess it was inevitable something would set me off. I just, I don't want to get into the cycle of making a video, then making a video to explain that video, then making a video to explain that video that explained that video. It's like, I know an old woman who swallowed a fly. That's what my videos become when it goes down this little rabbit hole of sticking up for myself against people that are trying to cause drama. So I'm putting my foot down here. Any comments telling me to lay off of Emily trying to cause drama, you are going to probably get told off massively and you're going to get blocked anyway. Um, but I'm not making any more videos about this. I have said more than enough and anybody with a fucking head on their shoulders can see that I'm not causing drama with her whatsoever and I've got no issues with her. It's other people that have issues with me not having issues with her that are trying to stir the pot and I don't need that shit in my life. You know, I'm in a good place and I really, really don't need the drama. I don't care. I know like lol cow is out there, kiwi farms, whatever. I haven't seen the pages, nor has anybody come to me, but I can imagine with every word I say in the back of my head, I know their reaction to everything and the screenshots that they're going to take, the videos that they're going to share. I know all of that. That's kind of become second nature to my life as much as breathing, you know, but other people coming and just trying to dig their fingers into my life and play around. I'm not your fucking Barbie doll. And I'm not here for your entertainment like that. I'm way too strong willed to bend over and just let you manipulate me like that. And if I say something, I say it because I want to say it, not because I'm told to say it. And um, get the fuck off my back. Get the fuck out of Emily's ass and get the fuck off CJ's back. It's time to move on with everybody's life and just let it go.